This is Shivam and this time on the special request of my viewers I will tell you how to crack CSIR exams. Basically I am going to tell you the strategy, the tips, tricks, hacks, everything related to this exam. So I want to tell you that this is not a motivational video. I just want to share the experiences of those people who already cleared this exam. So basically I will divide this video in three parts. The first part deals with the strategy that how to crack this exam, the strategy of the exam. Second deals with the tips and tricks for the different kinds of students. And the third part I will show you the last minute hacks for this exam. So let's start with the strategy. Let's start. So first of all I want to tell you guys about my strategy. So this is Siva. I have achieved the CSIR 23 rank in Earth Science NET exam. So this makes me eligible to write a funda of studying for NET exam. I didn't use any shortcuts. Like if you use shortcuts, you will have to face a number of interviews to get admitted to best PhD institutes. Moreover, I will not discussing about how long you should study because it depends on person to person, right? You should decide how much time you have to invest I will tell you the strategy that I have followed to qualify the net exam. So my first strategy is no shortcuts. So do not skip any reference book, specifically when it comes to earth science. Most of the questions in the paper are from these books only. So whenever you study an over weighty volumes of reference book, just think to read them once. For example, if you have to cover geomorphology topic, say rivers. Start by reading the chapter and everything you come across a detail that you weren't aware of, just write it, write it down. So it helps you in future. So my second strategy is highlights. Further, I have also used post-it notes so as to minimize the reading material and to prevent myself reading the point again and again that I already knew by heart. These tricks help me a lot in saving the precious time. Third strategy is make notes of notes. I would recommend to prepare notes and then concise those notes to small notes. Because reading through those six months you must have learned some points by heart. So why waste the time in reading all those notes again and again. So you can concise the notes as much as you can. Now the next strategy is tackle a boring chapter. So whenever you feel reluctance in the studying and any difficult difficulty in the chapter which makes you which makes the chapter bore so skip the reference book directly go and solve the objective question paper of that chapter and then you will get an idea about what type of question are being asked from this chapter so basically you get an idea like you not need to uh, read entire chapter just go through those topics which are coming in the previous uh, exams my fifth strategy is plus point if you are taking help from coaching or uh, say college or any professor from your college then try to make most out of it students tend to think that only going to classes uh, will be enough no do as your mentor says and study side by side on your own is most important thing don't just depend upon the professors, coaching, etc. Because like they help uh, till you are with them only. So study on. Self-study is the best study, right? Now, my sixth strategy is about the red wire syndrome. Don't be panic while giving the exam. Don't attempt questions that you are not aware of. If you attempt 15 questions from C part and all of them are right, you will score 60 marks but if you attempt 25 questions due to red wire syndrome and 10 out of them are wrong you will score very low so just never go for any question which you don't know okay 
and last and most important strategy is revise revise and revise whatever you study please revise it that's it so let's talk about tips and tricks for different kinds of student so i divide uh, students in three different kinds the first are those people who are in their mscs who never attempt this exam second one are those students who clear their masters and they are they are now eligible to give the exam and third are those people who already attempted three or four times but it they not clear this exam so my suggestion to the students who are in their masters right now just do deep deep study go for various reference book make notes as much as you can don't go for mcq right now this is the time when you learn okay for those people who cleared their masters who attempt one or two times like for those people i want to tell just start discussion with other students of the same branch it's help you a lot go for multiple choice questions uh, and uh, join various test series that is over net internet and for those people who already attempted four to five times i just want to tell them just check where is the mistake go through entire syllabus make all those topics which are weak strong okay that help you a lot so this is my tips and tricks for the different kinds of student Let's talk about the last minute hacks that helps you for better performance in csi net exam the first thing is watch your mind and select only those topics which you have prepared thoroughly and you are confident of attempting that type of questions second point do not waste the time in reading the whole question paper okay third point read and select and tick the questions in first round only fourth point start from easy to difficult questions like easy to difficult approach should be there okay for example for part c attempt first on priority basis and then similarly for part b and part a if attempt in the first round is reaching the desired attempt then start rechecking the option tick and correct the same like if you get in first attempt around 160 marks you know that this marks is enough for get uh, higher ranks in top 10 ranks so just uh, just recheck your option and uh, correct them if it's wrong do not over attempt in any case to score more as will be prone for negative marking so whatever is attempt just verify it correct it and now if you think to attempt is okay then you can try out for one two more question not more than two questions if you already get that much marks like 150 160 don't go for further marks okay so these are my final hacks so hope you like the video please do like comment and subscribe my channel Thank you.